We will describe now the main operations on input output automata and in particular how to take component automata and compose them into one automata. So the first operation is composition and it describes how systems are built out of component. And again we have two main operations composition and hiding of actions. So what is composition? It is putting automata together to form a new automaton and we will match the output action of one automata with the matching input actions of other automata. This is basically how you do composition. And the basic idea, if you match output actions with input actions, then all components that share the same action will perform a transition or a computation step simultaneously. So we say that they synchronize their actions. So here is an example where we want to compose two processes, P1 and P2, with two channels, C12 and C21. So we have four components and we want them to put them together into a single automaton. So let us see what we do. So what we just said is that we match output actions of a component automata with the corresponding input action of another component. For example, we match here the send of this component as an output to the send of the channel as an input. And we do that for all matching outputs to inputs. So we match here the output of this channel, which is a deliver to the input of that process. The idea of composition is matching output actions of one component with the corresponding input actions of other components and put the different components together. The state of the whole system or the state of the composition will be the state of each component together. So we have a vector of a state of all components together. The start state of that composition will be a vector which has a start state from each component. So we will describe all of these in the rest of this unit. When we compose multiple automata together to form one automaton, we have some restrictions on the shape of the signatures of the different component automata. The first condition is that internal actions are not shared, which would mean the intersection of the internal actions of any component automata with the actions of any other automata should be disjoint. The second condition is that only one automaton controls each output. So the output action of any component automata I should be disjoint from the output action of any other automaton I. However, one output may be the input of many others, and that's actually important. That's how we connect component automatas together. So say it, saying it one more time, we are looking to the composition A, the output action of the component becomes the output action of the composition. The internal actions of the component become the internal action of the composition. And this is important, action that are input to some components, but outputs to none, which means they are not matched by another component output, become the input action of the composition. So say it formally. Now, for a composition automaton, A, its output actions is the union of all output actions of the component. The internal action is the union of all internal actions of the component. And the input actions are the input actions of the component 
after we remove all output actions of the automaton. Now let us look to the state. The state of a composed automaton A. So the state of the composed automaton A is the Cartesian product of all the states of the component automaton. So it means that now we have a state which is a tuple and each element in the tuple is a state of a component automata. And the start state of the composed automata is again the Cartesian product of all the start states of all the components. And the task partition which groups the compositions of the locally controlled action is formed by taking the union of the components task partition. So now let us take an example and do that in detail. So when we compose automata, we look to all output actions of components and see if there are matching input actions. So this is so this output action, the send M12, this will be matched with the input action of the channel C12. And again, the output action of the channel C21 will be matching the input action of process P1, the deliver M21. The same thing here. The output action of this channel will match the input action of process P2. The output action of P2 will match the input action of channel C21. So when we do a composition, these input actions are no longer part of the composition. So these will disappear. Now we are left with the rest of the actions and the signature of that as an interface. So let us look to that. What is now our input signature? We have the inits, these two inits, is still input to the composition and in fact that's it when it comes to input because the other inputs are now connected to outputs from other components what is the output signature of this composition then it is still the decide that's a, both decides are output actions this is still output action of the composition the sense we do not hide output actions the sense are still so this is this send, send one, two, and this send, send two, one, and uh, this deliver, and this deliver, still part of the output action, and the tasks as before. So the composition now consume some input action. So now let us look to transition, how the composition makes computation steps or transitions. The idea is, is simple. If an output action of one component has matched a number of input actions of other components, so all these components will do one step together simultaneously. So we say it again. In a transition step, all, all the component automata that have a particular action A participate simultaneously in that action A. And other components do nothing. They do not participate. Just as an example, if we have four automata, A1, A2, A3, and A4, and if A is an output of automata A1, so here is A1, and A is an output of this automata, and it is the input of two other automata, A2 and A3. So in all these components will perform a transition simultaneously. So A1, A2, A3 will take part and change their states simultaneously. So if this was the component states and each one make a transition to its corresponding primed symbol. So S1 makes transition to S1 prime, S2 makes transition to S2 prime, S3 makes transition to S3 prime simultaneously. 
after doing the action A. S4 is the same state as before because component A4 did not participate in this action. That is a semantic of the composed step transition relation. So we have shown an example. Now let us exactly state this condition. So the set of transitions of the composed automata is a set of triples of this form such that the elements S prime I of the vector S I is formed as follows. So for each component automata, if A is an action of the component automata, then S I A S I prime is element of this transition A I. So it means now, this is the way that we have defined the component i of S prime by using this transition. Otherwise, the component S i after taking the action did, does not change. So S i equal S i prime. So the component states that change are those participating in the action A. Here is a summary of how a step in the transition relation is formed. So, so if A is an internal action of automaton capital A, or A is an input action of automaton capital A, then only one state component is changed from S to S prime. And this is the state component of the component that did the internal action or did the input. If A is part of the output action of capital A, the, the, the composed automata, then multiple state components may change. In SI, it is of those AIs that participate in the action. This ends the definition of a composed automata. There is one more operation, it's called hiding. As you can see, we are using in input out automata names for actions and sometimes when we want to compose automata you can get a name conflict so one way to avoid this problem is to sometimes hide some names so hiding will turn some output action to internal actions so remember when we compose automata output actions of the component are still output actions of the composed automata so sometimes we want to prevent outputs of composed automata for further interaction with other automata under further composition. And we do this by hiding. So we make this output action no longer included as part of the composed automata and therefore they will not be included as part of the external behavior of the automata or the traces. So if S is the signature of an automata and sigma is a subset of the output actions of S, then hide sigma S is another signature SI, it is defined as follows. The inputs of the newly formed automata by hiding is the same as the inputs of the original automata. The outputs of S prime are the outputs of S prime minus no set of output action that we want to hide and we add those output action to become part of the internal actions of the new automata S prime and that will be the operation looks like this hide sigma A is an automata A prime whose signature is the one that we just described